We bloody hate mornings at the Craft Beer Channel. We also hate airports and airport bars and people in airport bars and flying. Well, most of the time. But we love it when brewers email us and invite us to come brew with them. Especially when it's... Uh... Brewdog. So I'm here with Nick, our head brewer for the day, and the man bringing sours to Brewdog. Um, I've explained what the beer style is, but can you explain what it's going to taste like and, and how you're going to make it with us? Uh, well, it's, you guys had suggested, you know, wanting to go with a Belgian triple, so we went with the base recipe for a Belgian triple, but in typical Brewdog style, ignoring everything. Um, so it's uh, all, it's basically all pale malt, uh, but it's got about 17-20% dextrose for the, to, to create that dryness like a like relative, regular Belgian triple do. Um, we decided to chuck some uh, acidulated malt in there to give it a little bit of tartness on the finish. And uh, so, so, what's acidulated malt? That's 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 the uh, so it's, it's malt that's been allowed to basically sour with lactic acid bacteria. Um, so it'll drop the pH of the mash, which will make it easier to louder, but it'll also give just a really nice clean tartness to the beer. Um, so it'll, it'll help it dry out a little bit and uh, make it a little bit more refreshing. Yep. Um, and uh, we're mashing it real low uh, to give it uh, a lot of the precursors to make some really interesting fruity fair flavors from the, from the fermentation. Um, and then once fermentation is done, we've got most of the yeast out. Um, we're going to bung in a bunch of peaches and apricots to give it that sort of real nice, nice fruity. So it's a combination victory, golden, monkey, Belgian, triple, festina, pesh. Deliciousness. You know, you're gonna get a lot of sugar from the fruit, so it's gonna start fermentation again. So you're gonna, we're gonna pick up about probably about two percent of alcohol from the fruit. So it's gonna be a big beer. Um, but when if you do it, if you put it in primary fermentation, the yeast is uh, the fermentation is usually so violent that you're gonna drive off a lot of the aromas and flavors that would normally be there. So putting it at the end, after most of the yeast has come out and the, the main the main bulk of fermentation has calmed down, uh, allows you to retain a lot of that flavor. So it's 8 a.m. with three beers down. Nick's been showing off his souring and fruit beer abilities, which is pretty important for this brew. Uh, we're just starting the mashing, uh, so I'm going to head up and stick a bag in it. Whoa. So while the mash is on, we went out to Brewdog's Hop Store, which is just a container out in the yard, uh, to pick some hops. Now, this is not going to be a really hop-forward beer, it's a sour for a start. Yeah. So what we've gone for are two relatively subtle hops, but they're going to add something to it. So we've gone for Chateau Sport, which is a French hop. Those exist, apparently. Um, used generally for light beers, things like lagers, Belgian pale ales, that sort of thing. And then we're going to use Mandarina Bavaria, uh, and that's a German Hop, basically the Germans realising they can put loads of citrus in if they really wanted. Uh, so it's got loads of sort of deep orange notes to it um, that's going to play off the kind of lemony zestiness uh, of the stressful spot. So it's kind of like if you're making a recipe, we've, we've added some lemon on top at the end of the dish to give it a little spikiness and a little bit of citrus uh, that will just add another layer of complexity to what's going to be quite a complicated bit. The mash is just finished, uh, so we've got our wort. It's uh, obligatory that you stop and give it a little taste. Some people add whiskey, some people add raw yolk, apparently. That's called a brewer's breakfast. Uh, we're not adding anything to it, because this is going to be a really unusual wort. Usually a wort, unless it's a dark beer, they can taste quite similar. They're very malty, very sweet, kind of Ovaltine kind of thing. This one, because we've got acidulated malt. We can't smell anything other than that sweet breadiness, but I don't know, there's a little bit of lightness there, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like um, it's like somebody's added a lemon to, to, to your Ovaltine or your Horlicks.
So not quite sure what to tell you, uh, something went wrong, uh, they started trying to run it off and it was not running off uh, and what we've ended up with is a really sort of gloopy work, you can see it's, it's sort of stuck around my finger, glazing my finger, I'm not quite sure, it's kind of like half set jelly. Um, so the brewers are looking into it, looking at what's gone wrong and hopefully we'll be able to uh, finish off or indeed restart the brew tomorrow. So when I last showed you what had happened to our mash, uh, it was sort of glazing my finger. We've come back the next day uh, and it looks somewhere between fudge and overcooked ready brek, which is porridge for those of you not from the UK. Um, it, it, sm <laughs> it smells fine. Doesn't taste fine. Um, uh, the brewer's up in the lab trying to work it out. We're doing another brew to see if it happens again. Um, I'm, I'm feeling confident. I don't know why. So 650 grams of stressless bowl, 650 grams of mandarina bavaria going into the boil. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, it's been an interesting brew. Uh, obviously it took two days. I've had to change clothes. Um, and basically we think it, what it, it basically coagulated, turned into jelly, that mash. Uh, but they worked out it was to do with the acidulated malt being a bad batch. So the yeast is going to be pitched uh, and then once the beer is ready there will be an event uh, down in London. All the details will be on Twitter at Beer Channel, on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash uh, the Craft Beer Channel uh, and obviously we'll do a video about it as well. It's been a really interesting time up here at BrewDog. Uh, what we've learned is that Craft isn't just about things that go really, really right for beer, it's also about the things that go really, really wrong. Um, but I assure you that beer is going to be really beautiful. Uh, I cannot wait to try it because it's a sour triple with, with stone fruits. It's going to be amazing. Uh, and you'll get a review on this channel coming up soon. Cheers, guys.